happenings, global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Interesting times are ahead in our political uh, landscape as the northern politicians have promised a showdown. But let's find out what is going on and why are they promising showdown to this government if these things persist. You're going to find out in a moment. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it to see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified. So of data channel on YouTube. Now, two prominent Northern groups have issued a strong warning to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) against what they perceive as a bias against the Northern politicians in recent corruption investigations. Now, the Northern Elders Progressive Forum, which is otherwise known as NEPF, and the Northern Professionals Development Group, otherwise known as NPDG expressed their concerns in a joint communique following a two-day meeting on uh, national issues. Now, the groups took specific issues with recent reports on uh, EFCC revised 13 ex-governors uh, 772 billion naira fraud cases, Now, which listed several northern politicians among those facing corruption allegations and the communique signed by NEPF the chairman which is Dr. Usman Sani and read by NPDG secretary comrade Yusuf Abubakar Dingiade stated and I quote we are dismayed with the recent report uh we are EFCC revised 13 ex governor 772 billion naira fraud cases in which it published names of certain political leaders and individuals with alleged accusations of amassing public wealth illegally without recourse to the due process and rule of law. Now, the publication has now become a big embarrassment to them, their families, political associates, and our dear nation in a quest for objectivity. A presumption of innocent, emotional, and moral psychics. Now, we think that certain groups of political class, because of Vandata or other reasons, are cheaply using some media platforms to drag the anti craft agency image into disrepute to achieve cheap and unpopular political scores. Now, while appreciating EFCC's efforts to, def to infight uh, against corruption, the groups caution against allowing the commission to become a, a tool for political vendettas. Now, they noted concerns about certain political individuals using media platforms to tarnish the image of personalities, potentially eroding the EFCC's objectivities and objectives and urge the EFCC leadership to denounce this publication and assure that investigations are not influenced by political motives. Now, the groups re recommended that the EFCC, other petitioners and individuals making accusations to publicly sign a commitment to pay compensation if those accused are found innocent after investigation and court proceedings. They added, and I quote them, while appreciating EFCC's highly motivated operations and effective fight against crimes and corruption in the country so far, it is pertinent to note that the new objectives assured by the leadership of EFCC in the fight against crimes and corruption under President Ahmed Bola Tinubu are about to be eroded by certain selfish group of political individuals with access to media and investigations in the commission. Now, the commission should not allow itself to become a tool of political vendetta, blackmail or intimidation against any individual through personal grudges, persecution and campaign of calumny to, to tarnish the image of certain personalities or any perceived political enemies of the characters hiding behind the executive power to unleash allegations through media for public consumption and sympathy. There are groups of people who are allegedly sponsoring such sinister motives against some of the political leaders mentioned and other to tarnish their reputation. Those affected are Senators Adamu Abdullahi, one, Danjuma Gone, 
Rabi u Musa kwangwanso Ali u Mugata Mugata Kata Wam Wamakiko Doctor Bilo Doctor Bello Mohammed Matawale Sule Lamido among others. Now most painful to see even the seven political leaders are not spared example of Dr. Bello Matawali, who has served Zamfara State meritoriously, wow, honestly, diligently, and even transparently. But his name was involved in this conspiracy by some hidden forces with the intention of, to bring down his good name and service rendered for the progress of his state and the country at large. Now, however, we advise EFCC leadership to denounce this publication and bring out a bond of assurance by ordering those petitioners, characters who allegedly accused these mentioned people and many others to come up publicly and sign a sign to pay compensation to those accused if their if after investigation and court processes were found innocent from such allegations well if you ask me uh, they have not said anything out of place hey sometimes it can be very painful if for whatever reasons i'm not speaking on behalf of any other right now i'm speaking generally for everyone and for myself if you have been accused and you're found innocent and now the whole accusation that been made on you have been made public but now you're found innocent they don't even bother to make it public and now the last impression anyone have of you of is that last impression they said about you you know you go with that impression that this thing the the good book said the bible said it's a good name is bigger it's far bigger and better than gold uh, riches and gold and um, whatever good name must have gotten someone somewhere tries to play a smart one and you know tarnishes it that's probably the image generations and generations of born will have of you especially if it's on records one way or the other now that's general now back to the case i was also made to understand that even the ex governor of anambra state was also invited a whole lot of persons have been invited if you notice fairly recently Old-time politicians have been very quiet, unusually quiet. Well, let it not be that what um, some of our pastors said in time past, I'm talking about the pastor of um, House on the Rock, I'm talking about uh, Pastor Paul Adefarasi, when he said before, uh, uh, he said before there's a pizza or so, there will be a soul or so. Or before there will be a Paul, there will be a Saul. Let it not be that at the end of the day, <laughs> uh, the present president, who have always been around these guys, may end up, you know, picking old politicians one way or the other. But then again, some persons still believe that it's not the president. It could be those around the presidency. Well, what Nigerians don't know is that or what nigerians want to know is that nigeria is functioning well and corruption is being sealed and the economy is moving fine the security i'm sure nigerians will be happy the last move the president made against dr edu most nigerians and even the likes of peter Hobby were excited they dust it that it's a good one to stop and discourage corruption hey who knows there could be interesting times ahead. Let's go wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. Also, take. Have a nice time. God bless you.